Two years after state officials promised to build regional youth facilities as a way to reform juvenile prisons, very little has been done. Now with renewed allegations of rape and fights at Jetson Correctional in our area, parents whose kids are locked up say it's time to make it happen. WAP's Tayana Williams has our top story tonight. Tayana? Well, Donna, some people are saying shut Jetson down. Others say that will not solve the problem. Most agree the solution, a youth facility in every region, not a big juvenile prison like Jetson. That's already plagued with problems. This facility is causing a lot of people to make noise. Downside is regionalized. Close Jetson now. Downside is regionalized. Close Jetson now. From the steps of the state capitol. There's no reason why we can't move forward with reforms. We just have to stop talking about it and start doing it. To this meeting of the Juvenile Justice Implementation Commission, Jetson Correctional has become the home for troubled youth from all over Louisiana and what many want. One that's going to rehabilitate the children of the Baton Rouge area. Not the children of Lafayette and Opelousas that I saw yesterday because they need to be rehabilitated in Lafayette or in Opelousas. Separate not, facilities not for not youth Lafayette. around the state. The first one has not even yet been built and uh, we're committed to doing that. And whether that's one at a time, three at a time, or five at a time, uh, we're looking at by the end of the next four years to have adequate regional facilities. This woman's son died at Jetson a month before he was released. Reports say he died from inhaling aerosol, but some believe that's not the whole story. Behind the fence and barbed wire, allegations of rape and fighting between youth and the guards. To find what is best for our youth so that we're not investing $28,000 a year for the next 50 years in some of these young men who will be part of a recidivism rate that goes back into the adult system. What we've got there doesn't work, Dr. Thompson. And your staff says it was that it was the atrocious conditions that resided there that were a disservice to the legacy of my father. Raymond and Jetson says though the building is named after his father, it has taken a turn away from his father's so mission of helping the youth. Kaplan. That's a thought and these parents, this, whose this sons are here, agree with. System. Dr. Richard Thompson says Governor Jindal has asked his office to develop a plan in the next 30 days of how to begin implementing reform efforts. Lieutenant Governor Mitch Landrieu, who chairs the Juvenile Justice Commission, wants to know in the next two weeks what the long-term goal is for Jetson. That commission meets again on May 2nd. Donna? Thanks for the update, Tayana.